U.S. Speaker Johnson wants to compel Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. Speaker of the House of Representatives Mike Johnson proposes that Congress compel President Joe Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. However, the transfer may be delayed according to the corresponding bill. The document proposes that President Biden should be obliged to transfer long-range ATA CMS to Ukraine as soon as is practicable. This will help Ukraine defend itself and achieve victory against Russia. However, as the bill specifies, if the president determines the transfer would be detrimental to the national security interests of the United States, the president may withhold such transfer. In this case, Biden will be obliged to notify the Congressional Defense Committees, the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Relations of the Senate, and the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Affairs of the House of Representatives of such determination. Last year, Ukraine requested the transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States, which are capable of destroying targets at a distance of up to 300 kilometers. Ukrainian soldiers can launch them using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems. Last October, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a missile attack on the airfields in Berdyansk and Luhansk. Russians said that ATA CMS missiles were used. Later, the White House confirmed the transfer of such weapons to Ukraine, but with a range of up to 165 kilometers. However, American media reported that such missiles were transferred in small quantities. After this, the question of transferring ATA CMS at a range of 300 kilometers remained relevant. Top U.S. General Charles Brown recently stated that possible transfer is not as risky as it was before. A U.S. General stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. Mine danger remains one of the main threats in the Black Sea, said Dmitro Plitinchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy. He also noted that mines are a common problem for Ukraine and its Black Sea neighbors. Among them are three NATO members, Romania, Bulgaria and Turkey, according to Front News Media outlet. We have a lot of such work to do, we do it every day to organize security for our export-import corridor. However, the Black Sea still needs a full-fledged demoning operation. It has already been planned, a headquarters has been established, and ship crews are preparing. However, now, due to the Montreux Convention, these ships cannot enter the Black Sea, Plitinchuk said according to Plitinchuk, the Ukrainian crews that were preparing to use the UK's Cherkasy and Chernihiv ships have already been trained. They are already on duty. Last year they received a first level of compatibility with NATO countries. This year, we hope to get the highest rating, the second level of compatibility. In addition, three more ships are being prepared for transfer from the Netherlands and Belgium. And these crews are already receiving training. In total, we plan to receive five mine-resistant ships, said Plitinchuk. The spokesman also described the situation in the Black and Azov Seas. The situation is currently stable, the missile carriers are at their basing point in Novorossiysk. Only a patrol yacht of the Russian Federal Security Service is in the Black Sea, not far from the coast. There is no other activity in the Black Sea. One of the cruise missile carriers, which is being tested in Russia, has left the Azov and Black Seas and is returning to the plant for completion, Plitinchuk said. Russia will launch an offensive at end of May. Repelling it will be catastrophically difficult. The head of Ukraine's intelligence service, Kirillo Budanov, said that Russia will launch an offensive at the end of May to the beginning of June. He said this in an interview with German channel Das Erst. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces are preparing to repel it, but it will be catastrophically difficult without Western help. Russian troops will launch an offensive in late May or early June. I think that by this time, we will be well prepared. And we will see how it goes. Without the help of our Western allies, it will be catastrophically difficult for us. And that provided that, firstly, it comes in sufficient quantity, and secondly, it goes further. Budunov said, the head of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine stressed that weapons are needed to defeat the command posts of the Russians. As Ukrainian news agency earlier reported on April the 7th, the head of the main defense intelligence, Kirillo Budunov, said that Taurus missiles would significantly strengthen the capabilities of the security and defense forces of Ukraine. In addition, 
Following a regular meeting of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief's staff, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that Budanov and the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Ole Ivashchenko, had informed him of the Russians' plans to intensify the offensive. Two important intelligence reports by the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Ivashchenko and Budanov, on Russian actions in the spring and summer. We have to be prepared for all formats of possible hostile actions. It is obvious that the madness in the Kremlin is still strong. The occupier will try to intensify assault and offensive actions, Zelensky said.